Hey sports fans, just came up with what I think is going to be a great idea here. Um, you know woodworkers quite often will use sacrificial tables on their equipment. And I was thinking, you know, why can't I do that with a drill press? Right now my drill press vise is broken. Um, never really found one that I like anyway. Um, but drilling with a drill press without using a vise, a drill press vise is kind of a dangerous thing. Um, your piece that you're working on can catch on the on the uh, drill bit and just spin around and around and god damn who knows what that could do to your hands um so you're best off having a some type of vice but the, i've never found a vice that i really like they do have these x y axis devices that i, I might buy i saw them at harbor freight for 75 bucks i might get one of them but but at any rate i'm gonna try something different here for the time being um I worked as a structural welder for a while and one of the best things I learned is that welding isn't permanent. Uh, welding can be just as temporary, or even more temporary than uh, uh, drilling a hole and putting a nut and bolt in. Uh, welds are very strong but if you just put them on one edge, some tacks on one edge, they're quite, they're quite weak. Uh, I know back when I was welding guys would weld a bolt uh, to a metal wall just to hang their coat up and uh, you know, torch it off when they didn't need it anymore. But, all kinds of things they did. They would uh, weld things called pad, pad eyes, which would be like a piece of angle iron and a big steel plate. So they, they'd just weld them like that and they'd have a big hole in there. And that way they could hook a hook in there and with a chain hooked to a crane and they could lift uh, very heavy sheets of metal and it, it was just temporary. And uh, when, when it was done, they, they'd cut the weld off. Um, when, but quite often other things for temporary things, they'd, they'd weld just on one side and then they could lift up on that side and break the welds off. And that's, that's what I'm thinking is going to work here for a uh, my uh, sacrificial uh, drill press table. I'll just uh, weld my work to the table and uh, when I'm done I'll just uh, pry up on what I had to break the welds and then I can just grind the sacrificial table smooth and do it all over again. And I think that would really come in handy for uh, if you were working with odd shaped pieces. I'm going to make a flange for my uh, the exhaust on my truck so I'm going to cut the flange out of this piece of steel here. I'm going to cut the hole in it first and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it centered and I'm going to just weld this uh, piece, that it, my, my piece of work right to my sacrificial table, uh, do my operation and then just bust it off and I'm done. Let's see how it works. One other thing here too is I drilled two holes in here and I just have it bolted to my drill press table. Uh, if this works well, I'll countersink these holes and I'll use countersink bolts and have the nuts on the bottom. That way if I was using a if my piece of work was larger than the table, uh, these uh, bolts wouldn't get in the way. But for the time being, for the small piece, uh, why this is still in the experimental prototype phase, this is going to work just fine. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to weld this, uh, this piece of work here right to my sacrificial table. I'll put a tack there and a tack there. And I'm also going to, uh, just because you always unplug the battery in a car before you... Maybe well, yeah, I gotta unplug the drill press first. All right, so let's weld this up and see what happens. All right, I got that just tacked on there with two tack welds and uh. If this holds while I do my operation, I'll consider this a success. Piece comes out pretty darn close to its original position. There we go. We got her done. Let's see how that worked. So we should be able to get underneath the back side of this, uh, this the piece of work and just we should be able to just pry it right off and break her off. Look at that. That's all there is to that sports fans. Look at that. Broke off clean and wasn't that a nice way to hold a piece of work? Um, that has an odd shape like this has bevel edge because it was a it was a snowplow edge so it wears in a bevel but uh it would have been a difficult piece to clamp 
but if you just weld your work to a sacrificial table, um, that's a really handy way and safe way to hold your work while you're using a drill press. And this was a pretty demanding thing. Uh, we were using a hole saw, so that's a lot more demanding than just a drill bit. All right, let's take a look at our sacrificial table after our initial uh, test operation is done. Uh, like I said, we cut a hole with a hole saw. That's about the most demanding thing you're ever going to do uh, as far as a vise trying to hold a piece of work is concerned, and it just worked great. We got a few uh, beads of weld here, but we can just grind them right off, and it'll be good to go for the next project. I'm totally sold on the sacrificial table, and welding a piece of work to your drill press, to your sacrificial table, for the ultimate uh, in uh, safe clamping and holding odd shape type pieces. Um, you can, if you weld down a very odd shaped piece, just for example, if you were to have a piece like that looked like this, like this exhaust uh, gasket, um, if you needed to uh, do some work on a piece shape like that, how are you going to hold that in a vise? But if, boy, if you're able to just weld that to your sacrificial table in your drill press, boy, that works slicker than snot. So I hope that uh, all you folks out there uh, find this idea really handy. I sure do. I'm gonna, I'll be using it for the rest of my life. And uh, hope you like what you saw here. If you do. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time here on the Fix Yourself channel.